Hello everybody, welcome you all back to another episode on the Scoutcraft server. Guys, I hope you're having a wonderful day. Now that I'm back on the Scoutcraft server, I am having a beautiful day as well. And I'm about to have an even better day because, as you can see, we are at League of Gaming's base. And in his last episode on the Scoutcraft server, we saw that he had a interaction with a llama slash alpaca and actually took its life. It was a treacherous crime and Liga has to pay for his sins on that. And today we are going to rectify that mistake and make sure he pays for everything that he took away from that alpaca's life. We are going to have the alpaca revenge, guys. So I think it's time to start this, uh, this mini prank, guys. So for this prank, we're going to need some alpacas. <laughs> and hello, you are going to be very useful. Yes, you are. And we're going to hop on him. I think this is how you tame him. And then he'll have... Oh, he doesn't like me at the moment. You hop on them and he'll eventually uh, show some love hearts, I hope. And then I can breed them once they're tamed. And oh, here we go. And there's the saddle. Can I have... Can I ride him? I can't ride him. Or do I need a saddle? Okay. I, how do I ride a alpaca? Can I not put a saddle on him? That's very interesting, guys. Maybe I don't need it. Maybe I just need a lead. But we're gonna. What we're gonna do? I'm gonna show you right here. Hello, rockets. Um, we are going to be putting some alpacas around Liga's base in the walls, so he's just inundated with alpaca sounds. So what this prank's gonna contain is a lot of alpacas stored into walls, into little cavities around uh, Liga's base here. So we're gonna put them in the walls, and all he's gonna be able to hear is that. Uh, kind of sounds of the alpaca. I'm sorry about that. That was an absolutely awful attempt at an alpaca sound. But this is going to be the area. So we've got to put them in the walls, in the ceiling even. So we've got to breed up a fair few alpacas here. And yeah, so I think we're going to get into breeding the alpacas, guys. And I'm going to check in with you once we're all ready to start putting them into the walls. God, this is going to be fun, guys. I cannot wait. <laughs> All right, guys, take a look at this. This is absolutely unreal. The revenge of the llamas has begun. And oh my God, guys, this has been a mission breeding these guys. So how you breed them is you use hay bales. You have to tame the llama first. So you have to hop on it. And once it shows you love hearts, then you can press E and then you can put carpet on it to put uh, its kind of armor on it, I guess. And then what you want to do is, uh, once you've tamed it, you want to find another tamed one and then place a hay, right click with a hay bale and right click with another hay bale. And then those two will breed to make a mini llama. So that's how we got all these guys here. And as you can see, the ones without carpet are the ones we haven't tamed as they're growing up as we go. So this is essentially a retaliation of the episode where Liga killed a llama. And now it looks like he's uh, angered his whole family uh, the whole way down by the looks there is a lot of llamas here so they're all angry and they want revenge so guys i think it's time to put them into their places let's do it all right guys look at this the angry trader has appeared and he has taken his llamas and made them refuge in here he's uh they've made refuge in this area they've taken over and as you can see we've got some holy moly that is loud um, we've got some llamas up here. We've also got llamas in the walls and in the floor and in and here near. So when League is enchanting, he can have a chat with his llamas and think about what he's done. So guys, we've got the llamas dangling from the ceiling to prove a point, guys. This is to prove a point. And this llama has really just been playing on my nerves. I don't want to kill it. It can just roam free. It got out willingly. It's time for him to move on. But the angry trader has left some signs and he said, Hello, traveler. Word has got by that you have slaughtered an innocent llama. My llamas have traced you back to this location and have taken refuge in your base. We will not stop until an apology is made to the Scarecraft community. Sincerely, the angry trader. So that basically sums it up. Legal will have to make an apology to the angry trader. And in return, the angry trader is going to give him Norman and Liga better look after him as he has a tracing device a vitals so uh, the angry trader can see if he is still alive and being looked after so Liga has to look after him now Norman it's been a pleasure but I think it's time to take off for this at this moment 
we're going to head to our mega base and do a little bit of work on our river. So, I shall see you all there. So, last episode, guys, you saw that we completed the exterior of our base. And, it, God, guys, it's looking absolutely unreal. Once we get sand along this exterior there, it's going to be taking shape even more. But it's about time. Ooh, there's a skeleton in there. Let's, let's not get near him, guys. But we're going to be running a river through here. As you can see, the uh, the works has begun at the entry points, but we're going to try and run it through here. I'm going to try and connect them up, maybe bring it out of this way a little bit. I'm going to try and avoid this hole, obviously. But we've got to be able to run this river along here. So we're going to have a river cutting the island in two, essentially. And then we're going to have villagers, um, villager houses and stuff in here as well. So I think it's time to head into our first time lapse of today. And without any further ado, let's get this river all done and dusted, guys. So let's hit it. Welcome back guys after that short time lapse there of the river and guys it is coming up a treat here I'm absolutely loving this as you can see when you fly from above it just looks so much better if we just turn around here oh baby just look at that bend in the river it's exactly what I wanted we're gonna have a building over this side potentially a bridge going over it and then our starter base is kind of the center area of this mega base. I don't know if I'm going to get rid of this. I quite like it here, like a little wishing well kind of thing. Um, but there'll be some buildings around here. They all have their villager occupations and stuff where I can trade and whatnot. Oh, and yeah, and we reached 102 deaths, guys. Nothing special there. <laughs> uh, a lot of fall damage um, at the Wither Skeleton Farm and whatnot. So that is where my deaths came from. But guys... Let me know in the comments below what you think of this mega base so far. It is coming up so well, and I just cannot wait to keep working on it even more. All right, guys, that's all the time I've got for the mega base episode. However, it's not all the time I've got for you, totally. We've got to meet up with Jumble Wolf because as you know that the server has a beacon shop, but it's just not operational yet. So we've got to get that operational. As you can see, we did have the wither... Uh, with a farm going and I do have 27 heads so far. I haven't AFK'd it much but that's like, I don't even know, 9 beacons or something, isn't it? 27, 9, 18, 27 yeah, that's 27 beacon. ah, uh, god, maths, 9 beacons. So, we're gonna start, if I AFK it, heaps we'll get heaps more but I've got a lot of slabbing to do as well with the, um with a farm so the rates are better so me and Jumble are going to hop into that, but I think it's time to meet up with him. So yeah, let's go meet up with our man Jumble. All right, guys. As you can see, we're not joined by Jumble. However, he is with us in spirits today. I've been conversing with Jumble, and we've been talking about this beacon shop design. Now, he said we can revamp it, and he was supposed to join us, but he's just become busy with in real life stuff. So we will definitely meet up with him in the future. In a f Whoa, what in the blooming blazes is that? What is that? Is that a horse? I've never seen them in this game. Is that like a horse? That's a skeleton horse. Shouldn't you be dead? What in the world is that, guys? Um, maybe I might have to tame him and take him back. I don't know if I can. I think I probably could. We'll suss that out, but guys, I'm not going to put this into a time lapse. We're going to revamp it, spice it up a little bit, and add beacons to the shop. But yeah, it's not going to be a time lapse, guys. It's going to be a quick transition until you see it so take a look at the last beacon shop look and then we'll transition into the next one i lied guys this actually is a time lapse so let's hit it
guys, we are done and dusted with the Beacon Shop transformation. I think it's come up pretty good. Ooh, what do you guys think? I think that the uh, actual realism of the Beacon has come up really well, um, potentially a little bit short, but uh, I think I've transformed it quite well, and I think Jumble will also be happy. And the inside we've kind of decorated with uh, wither heads, and basically we're going to be selling iron blocks for four diamonds for 64. I'm going to try all these. It might be a bit expensive, but to be fair, 64 iron blocks is nine stacks of iron, and there's a lot of things you can do with iron than rather than beacons. So I think they'll stay at a similar price to that. Beacons are at 10 diamonds, which we currently don't have any because I've just used them all up top, as you see out here. There's a good, I think there's 12 there or something. Actually, there might be even 16. 16 there, yeah, because we had 17 total. Um as part of the build, but it doesn't take long to AFK the farm, so we'll be able to get more, and I'll restock this off camera so the scouts can buy their beacons, and we're selling them at 10 diamonds to start with, um, but they might go down once we get uh, the stock in, so it might go down to like five or six diamonds potentially, and we also have the golden carrots here because Jumble Wolf actually has a huge villager system where we can trade and get golden carrots. So, yeah, everything's 50-50 in this. So, Jumble will take half of the profit and I'll take half of the profit. Um, and it's going night time, so we better sleep. But, guys, it has been an absolute action-packed episode. Thank you so much for tuning in, guys. It's been a pleasure. Hopefully, we can meet up with Jumble next episode and meet up with Liga after his little uh, mini prank, I guess. And we'll see if he's going to give an apology or if he's going to continue the war that is against the uh, wandering trader, guys. So, thanks, guys, for stopping by. It's been great. I'll catch you in the next one. My name is Madzify, heading out, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Bye.